That's not. So again, I'm going to explain this. Again, what you guys are looking for this. When I ask you to evaluate, again, we are looking for the angle, theta, right? Again, this comes from what we did over there. Tangent of some angle theta equals negative square root of 3 over 3. Right? So here's what we're trying to find. Now we've got to figure out, well, the tangent of what angle gives us square root of 3 over 3? Now, if you're not as very strong with the unit circle, then this probably doesn't come, um, this probably doesn't come direct, like, very easy to you. So we've got to remember that there's three coordinate points that we are working on in this case. We have the coordinate for pi over 6 when theta equals pi over 6, which you guys hopefully know is square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half. And when you take the y coordinate over the x coordinate, if you guys were to simplify this like I told you to do, once you guys did that large worksheet I gave you, by the time you guys did the second example of this, you're probably like, oh, I already did this. I'm not going to multiply by the reciprocal rationalize the denominator. I already know the answer is square root of 3 over 3. When you go ahead and work on pi over 4, and you get square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. Once you've probably figured out pi or uh, tangent, these are the same or the same, you get 1, then you just kind of keep it right there. And then, oh, let's just do pi over 3 real quick. Because that one was square root of 3 over 2. Oh, crap. Did I mess that up? Dang it, I did. No, this one was, yeah, yeah, I was right. I'm sorry. I wrote this one wrong. Then when you do this, you get square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half, and that just equals the square root of 3. Now anyways, I made a long little example. Here's our angle. So we know that the tangent is going to equal, forget about the positive or negative, we know tangent is going to equal negative square root of 3 over 3 for at least a reference angle of pi over 6, right? So we go and look at our unit circle, and we say, all right, there's pi over 3. It has to be negative, though, so therefore it has to be in the when is tangent negative? Second quadrant and fourth quadrant. Same reference angle. Reference angle is pi over 3, right? Right? All these angles have the same angle. That's pi over 3, that's pi over 3, that's pi over 3. So again, guys, if halfway around a circle is 3 pi over 3 and you're pi over 3 short, then what is this angle? 2 pi over 3. If, you're, if all the way around the circle is 6 pi over 3, and you're pi over 3 short, then what is this angle? 5 pi over 3. OK, but here's the problem. Tangent is restricted, or the tangent inverse, I'm sorry, is from the restriction of negative pi halves to pi halves. So does 2 pi over 3 give us, does 2 pi over 3 make that give us negative square root of 3 over 3? No, we can't, that's not within the restriction. What about 5 pi over 3? It gets outside of the restriction, right? It goes outside and then comes back in. So again, we got to find an angle. All right, first of all, no matter what angle I find, this one's never going to satisfy it, right? Because it's outside of the restriction. So this is the only point, the only terminal side that's going to work. So how do I go from here to here, staying within the restriction? I just need to go this way, the negative version. And how far do I need to travel? Negative pi over 3. And that's your answer. All right, so enough of me talking. 